What is up, what's up? What is up, FS Club? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Well, Monday is here. You guys know what that means. That means new mods are back. Well, anyways, hopefully you guys had an amazing weekend. Today, we got 10 new mods for all platforms and 12 new updates for all platforms. Then PC got five different mods and then three new updates. For all platforms, though, we got the Randon Bitrim Long Bulk Carrier Line R, the Randon Pack LSR Line, the John Deere 2660 VT disc, the Roch ZSA 580, the Shooting Maker SMS 3000, Forge Harvester's Pack, the Lizard 200 Sprayer, Brazilian Mega Silo, Large Farm Silo, and Le Grand Shoot Shootin. All platform updates though, we got the Ishka Farm, the Irma Hurricane, the Morangan Fold Bar 616, the TLX 9000 Semi, the R Mechanic Transport Cattle Pack, the Lizard D50 D55 Pack, the Lizard D633, the TCM Runner Pack, the Brick Shed Pack Italian Style, Sheep Pasture, Grain Silo Set with Multi Fruit, and Multi Filling Station. Now, PC New Mods, the Front Bumper Pack, the PSE 125A, the MDW Case Arcus, Gas Station, and Sano Bucket. Now, PC Mod Updates, Waiting Workers, the Inconvarian Countryside, and the Medivin. You know what? Let's just roll that intro and let's get into these new mods. Here we go. Okay, so the first mod we're gonna be going over is this one right here. But first, before we begin, guys, remember there is timestamps below. So if you guys want to skip ahead to a certain place or go back, there they are right there. But anyways, the first mod for today is the Randon Bitrim Long Bull Carrier Line R. Let's see, there is two of them. There's a front and a rear. 84,000 for the rear, 85,000 for the front. Let's see, holds up to 45,000 liters on this one and 62,000 liters on this one. Uh, let's see options on this one we got rim color any color you want and main color any color you want with rims of course it changes the rim color so let's just put black there they are right there main color you got any color so it will change the underneath the cover capacity you got 4500 you got bell loading wagon and then back to 4500 design you have short mud guard or long mud guard let's see the back of that right there there it is and then let's see for the rear one rim color any color main color any color too so it could change it to red and there it is right there capacity is 62,000 or bail loading and then you got short mud guards or long mud guards so that is the random bed trim long bulk carrier r line Okay, and then the next one after that one is this pack right here. It's another random pack LSR line. Let's see, 92,000 for this one, 87,000 for this one. Uh, this one holds up to 72,000 liters, and this one holds up to 67,000 liters. Options though, rim color, any color. Main color, any color, which should just change yep, underneath the cover. Capacity is 72,000, or you got the bail loading wagon. Uh, you got short mud guards, or the long mud guard. I like that long mud guard. You guys can see it was swaying there for a second. Yeah, pretty nice. And then let's see the this one right here. We got the same thing on this one. So let's just change that right quick. Capacity is 67,000 or the bail loading wagon. You got short mud guards or long mud guards on that. So that is the random packs for today. Okay, so after that one, we have this one right here. This is the John Deere 2660 VT disc. This is a disc caro. Let's see, it is 9.0 working meters, $20,000. So it's actually pretty cheap for only a 9.0 cultivator. Uh, it does require 250 horsepower though. Options on this one, there is no options. You know what, let's actually take a look at this one in game. Okay, and so here we are in game, it is hooked up. Let's uh, bring up this real quick. There we go, let's unfold it. So that is how it unfolds. And as you guys can see, they are all hooked up really nice. Really nice detail. Okay, let's go ahead and lower it. Really nice, I like this. Wow. Okay, so that right there is the John Deere 2660 VT disc. Now we have something a little bit on the smaller side. This is the Ronch ZSA 580. This is under fertilizer technology. 4,200, 9.0 working meters. See, like I said, on the small side, only 800 liter capacity on this one. It does only require 25 horsepower, but this can take fertilizer and lime on this one. Options on this one. You can change the main color from red, 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 or red. So four reds. Uh, let's see if you can actually tell a difference. Oh yeah, you can definitely tell a difference on that. Yeah. Okay, so there is the Ronch ZSA 580. 
Okay, so after that one, we have this one right here. This is the Shooting Maker SMS 3000. This is a manure spreader. Let's see, it is $8,000, only 4.0 working meters. It holds up to 4,000 liters of manure. It does require 35 horsepower. And actually, this thing holds anything it looks like. Uh, let's see, yeah, you can change a manure spreader or you got trailer whenever it's trailer, it's only 4,000. So with manure spreader, it's only 3,750 liters. Uh, and then you got trailer with the open right back there. And then back to manure spreader decals. You got old decals, you got new ones, and then back to old wheel setup. You got standard, you got standard, wide tires, wide tires, wide tires, and then back to standard on that one. So that is the shoe to maker. Okay, and so the next one after that one is actually a pack that you can only use on certain maps. This is the Forge Harvesters pack by Black Eyes Modding. But anyways, on this pack, it's a pack of Forge Harvesters for harvesting corn mash. This pack contains basic game Forge Harvesters, the Crone Big X 1100 and the New Holland FR 780, configurable for normal shredding or for corn mashing. Uh, also contains the Capello Kassar F4, the Diamond HS8, the Diamond HS12, the Corsair HS16, predisposed to the coupling with Shredder for the shredding of corn mash. Important note, here it is right here. This mod works only on maps prepared with the corn mash already inserted among the field types, which as of right now, only Ishka Farm, the rice fields of the north and any other prepared by the mapper. So Ishka Farm is the only map that you can use for this, which there is a new update that actually allows that on here, which I believe you need a new save game. So that is the Forge Harvesters pack. Okay, here is the next one. This is the Lizard 200 sprayer. It is only $400, so this is probably the cheapest sprayer you're actually going to find in the game. It is 6.0 working meters, holds up to 600 liters, and this can do fertilizer or herbicide on this one. Options, though, on this one, there is no options for this one. So this is it of the regular mods on all platforms for today. Let's get to those placeables for all platforms. Okay, so the first placeable we have for today is this one right here. This is the Brazilian Mega Silo, $250,000, but this thing holds up to 5 million liters. It is $45 a day on this, and this looks like you can put anything in here, including root crops. So, of course, with that new potatoes DLC that comes out tomorrow, this is going to be very good for it. So let's go ahead and place this. Wow, look, <laughs> this thing is actually pretty big. Wow. Okay, let's go ahead and place that real quick. There we go right there. So, yeah, wow, it takes up a huge footprint. So definitely gonna need a big area for this one. Okay, let me actually go over here real quick. Okay, so this looks like where you actually fill it. I mean, actually unload. Oh, sorry, get your uh, crops. And this looks like where you unload your crops. So pretty nice. This thing is really big. Jeez. Uh, I don't see what kind of flag that is up there. Is that a lizard flag? I don't know. Let's actually, uh, let me turn this thing on real quick. Let's see if we can go up there real quick and see what it is. Ah, getting stuck. Uh, what is that? I don't know what flag that is. So if you guys know what flag that is, let me know down in the comment section below. Actually, I know what it is. Never mind. It's Brazilian. Forget, forget what I just said. <laughs> Okay, so that next mod to go over, let's go right over here. Let's go to silos and then right there. There is the large farm silo, which on here shows big so silo multi fruit, but it is the large farm silo. It's $175,000, 220,000 liters, and this can only hold your regular basic crops. So let's go ahead and place this. And yeah, you can see, just see how much more smaller it is than that one. So there is that. Let's go take a look at it real quick. So it looks like you back up right over here and dump right in there. I actually like it whenever it's like that. And then looks like you fill it up right there. So really nice. Okay, let's get you the last all platform placeable for today. Uh, this one, I, oh, it's right there. There we go. This is the Legrand Shoot Shoopin, which I'm probably butchering that name really bad. Uh, so this is a metal shed right here, $32 a day. Let's go ahead and place the shed right there. Okay, so there it is right there. Let's go inside of it real quick. So lots of space. This could be a, pla a good place to put your harvester or bales, whichever one. Okay, so that is it of the all platform placeables for today. Let's get to the all platform updates for today. 
Okay, so here we go with the updates for today for all platforms. The first one though is Ishka Farms, which I was just talking about earlier. What did this change? Various fixes? Add a corn mash forage harvesters pack is required to produce that. Uh, to produce the corn mash, the corn must be harvested with a special forage harvesters, deposited in a special trench available among the placeables, compacted and covered just like the silage. So there is that one right there. The next one, the Irmo Hurricane, the change log on this one only says fix several minor bugs on that one. After that one, the Morangan Fold Bar 6.16. What did this change? Fix several minor bugs on that one too. The next one, the TLX 9000 Semi. What did this change? Added dual sound selection in the store. Added the 82's lineup color versions. Uh, issues fixed. Fix the refill issue and fix store lag while selecting options. So that is for the TLX 9000. Next one after that one, the Art Mechanic Transport Cattle Pack. What did this change on this one? Retextured. Added color configurations fixed hubs and lizard wheels, and included transport for chicken. Also attention, the map must be ready to sell chicken on that one if you're gonna be using it for transporting chicken. After that one, the lizard D50 and D55 pack. What did this change on this one? Only added new tires on that one. After that one, the lizard D633. What did this change on this one? Added new tires on that one. After that one, the TCM runner pack. What did this change on this one? Fixed bug collision on that one. And then we have the Brick Shed Pack Italian. What did this change on this one? Add a new bale shed with garage and placeable bale sell point on that one. After that one, we have the Sheep Pasture. What did this change? All it did was add seasons on this one. Then we have the Grain Silo Sets with Multi-Fruit. What did this change on this one? Multi-Fruit Silos now accept bales. Fixed shop name of small Multi-Fruit Silo Extension XL. Added new store pictures. Added description for the standard silo extension on that one. Then we got one more, which is the multi-filling station. What did this change on this one? Actually, this one's pretty big. New sign decals and new unload an animations. Create a new store icon and mod icon. Due to some inquiries about the trigger size, we have made this bigger so it is easier to find it. Uh, they also added a fill marker, which lights up. This can be turned on or off at the switch box. Added switches for the lights and added sounds to the switches. Fixed minor issue with the lights. Created a gold version of it, so now we have three to choose from. Adjust the leveling area, and then clean up the folder a bit, making it use less performance on consoles on that one. So that is the all platform updates. Let's get to those new PC mods for today. Okay, so for the first PC new mod for today, we have this one right here. This is the front bumper pack, which includes two front bumpers right here. It is under the weight section. We have this one for six, actually these are both 600. We have the Gotti bumper and the Adams bumper on this one, 100 kilogram front weights. These also have lights as you guys can see right there. And I believe you can actually change, adjust this with the mouse wheel on your mouse. Uh, let's see options though. We got mink, wow, this thing is really zoomed in. Really nice details, look at that, wow. Okay, main color, we got any colors. So of course you can have it as Michael's pink. And then let's see, you got white lights. You got orange lights right there. You got turn lights. And then back to white lights on that one. So there is the front bumpers pack. Okay, then after that one, we have a new trailer pack. This is the PSE 125A. Let's see, it is 2,800, holds up to 15,500. As you guys can see, it is also a dolly trailer. Uh, but anyways, options on this one, rim color, you can change it to any color. So if you want to change it to red, you can. Design color, any color. So let's just put that at green. So you can see it changes the bottom and the dolly hitch. Uh, let's see, main color, any color. So let's just change that to blue. And it changes, of course, the trailer back there. Capacity, you got 5,100, 7,100, 15,500, bail loading wagon, and then back to the capacities again. Boards, you got metal, you got wooden. Wow, those wooden boards look amazing. Then back to metal. Wheel setup, you got standard or white rims or mud guards, white rims plus mud guards, and then back to standard. So there is that one right there. I believe there's another one. I just got to find it as a loading wagons. Yes, there it is right there. The PSE F125A, which is 3,100. Holds up to 17,700 liters. And this, of course, is a loading wagon. Well, it's under loading wagons, but is this a loading wagon? I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's just something to hold your chaff. Uh, but anyways, you can change the main color from red, red two, and gray. Design color, you got white, gray, or white. Rim color, any color. Uh, actually, not any color. We got red, red two, gray, black, and stainless. So, oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, got black right there. Main color changes the bottom right there. And design color changes the top right there. 
Uh, you got wheel setup standard, wide rims, mud guards, wide rims plus mud guards, wide tires, and then back to standard on that. So there is the PSE 125A. After that one, we have is a new combine. Here it is right here. This is the MDW Case Arcus, which is $173,000, holds up to 12,100 liters, 425 horsepower. Uh, let's see, options on this one, you got design MDW, you got case version one, case version two, and then back to MDW. I wish this would come out to consoles. Hopefully it does later on in the future. Uh, but anyways, this also comes with a header. So let's go over to the headers. Go all the way to over here. There it is right there, the Arcus Cutter, which is 32,800. It is 8.4 working meters. Options, you, of course, you got the MDW, the MDW Crop Lifters, the case, the case with Crop Lifters, uh, and then MDW again. I think that is it. I don't think there is a corn header with this. Uh, no, there isn't a corn header with this. So let's actually take a look at this one in game. Okay, and so here we go right here. This is the MDW Arcus. Really nice. Okay, let me actually put this thing up real quick. Okay, here we go. Let's see, two cameras. Here is the interior, really nice interior. No window in the back. Uh, let's see, unfold harvester. I didn't even see anything open or anything. Okay, I guess it's unfolded. Uh, pipe out. Okay, so there's pipe out right there. Horn. Top speed is 26 miles an hour. Let's go ahead and turn this thing over. Looks like his hand's not really on the steering wheel though. Okay. We got beacon right there and looks like a beacon in the back. Okay, so let's go over here. Oops, come on, attach it. There we go. Okay, PTO's connected, everything looks good. Okay, let's go ahead and turn this on in a second. Ooh, does those pulleys and everything move? Let's see. Yes, they do. Okay, so really nice, really nice animations. Okay, let's go over here. Yeah, as you guys can see, the pulleys are moving down there. Lots of moving parts. Pulleys moving right there. Really nice harvester. Okay, so that is the MDW Case Arcus. Okay, so now we are on the PC placeables, which there is one today. Let's see, let's go over here. Let's go to probably miscellaneous. Yeah, there it is right there. This is the gas station, which this is $5,000. It is only $5 a day. And yes, this does fuel and it also does water. So you only need one. It does, you pay a 5% fee for delivery of fuel. It also will provide you with free water. And this building does have automatic lights at night. So let's go over here. Let's go and place this real quick. So just a really nice little gas station like this. Keep strong and drive a fence. Keep strong and drive a DF the best. Is there anything with John Deere? Let's see. Keep calm and love a John Deere. <laughs> and then we have a whole bunch of tractors right over there. We got some JCB, Fent 818s, McCormick's, Ford 8210, uh, David Brown. So really nice fuel station. Wow, look at that regular, it's nice detail. I like the detail on this. Okay, so there is that one right there. Okay, the next one is, let's go over here. I believe it's under, is it? I think it's actually under placeables. Yes, there it is right there. This is the Sano Bucket. It is $50. This is just a bucket to put stuff in. It holds up to 200 liters. I'm not really gonna show this off that much. Uh, but anyways, there it is right there. There is no options for that. So there is the PC new mods for today. Of course, we got three new PC updates. So let's go over those PC updates real quick. Okay, so for PC updates for today, the first one we got is waiting workers. What did this change? All it did was fixed MP support on that one. So that's for waiting workers. The next one, well, the next two are actually maps. First one is the Ingvarian countryside. What did this change? Addition of multi-fruits. So now you have clover, millet, alfalfa, trentacle, onion, horse grass, flax, miscanthaeus, and spelled. Uh, relocation of the mill trigger in dairy farm one. Modified wall on the path behind the Triska Law Cooperative and elimination of the flying shaft near the BGA on that one. And then the last one, Medivin. What did this change on this one? New crop textures, create a soil mass for precision farming, modified surface painting, grasses already growing on the grass surface, improvement of lights and night, 
uh, added purchase of lime seeds and fertilize mission in each field adjustment of the price of water and milk adjusted starting plots and prices and many new details so there is all the pc updates for today Okay guys, so that is the new mods, the updates, that is everything for today. Let me know down in the comment section below which one was you guys' favorite. I'm gonna have to say probably for all platforms, it's gonna have to be the John Deere 2660 VT. Uh, PC, the MDW Case Arcus, and yeah, that is everything for today. After this video, today's schedule will be FS Daily News, but no live stream until Thursday. So hopefully you guys all have an amazing rest of your day. And make sure you guys do check out that FS Daily News video. Remember, guys, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you haven't subbed, make sure you guys do. Like always, have an all-state farmers. Peace.